everyone, welcome back to our BTW Media channel. I'm Idia and this is Rebecca. Hi. Last week, we heard about that a tragedy happened to a little girl. So Rebecca, can you introduce this for us? Yeah, of course. A US appeals court on Tuesday reinstated a lawsuit filed by the mother of a 10-year-old girl in Pennsylvania who allegedly died with attempting a viral challenges seen on TikTok which dares people to choke until they lose consciousness. Yeah, I heard that the judge initially dismissed the lawsuit because of Section 230 of the Communication Management Act, which is typically used to protect international companies from liabilities of their content posted on their website. But on Tuesday, an appeals court panel reserved that decision, sending the case back to the lower court for trial. Is it a sign that social Social media like TikTok will be more regulated, like strengthening audit or something like that? Yeah, of course, the strengthening of audit is certain. TikTok as a global social media platform can use algorithms to spread specific content to specific people, which has interfered with users' choices. As Judge Paul Metti said, 10-year-old Nila may not have known what she was doing or that following the image on the screen would kill her. But TikTok knew Nila would be watching because the company's customized algorithm placed the video on her for your page. Yeah, but wouldn't it be a little bit like too much? It is said that TikTok now employs over 40,000 moderators all over the world, and the combination of human and AI is an attempt to keep user safety, limit the spread of aggressive speech, and protect minorities. So on this basis, TikTok have tried to find a balance between safety and freedom of speech. But such an accident is rarely regrettable. And many children have been injured because they blindly imitate challenges on TikTok. What else did you think that TikTok should do? Yeah, I think the first is the automatic audit technology. The audit efficiency of AI is certainly far more than that of many, but its accuracy should have room to improve. When the level of violation in the automated audit system is unclear, the system passes the content to a human auditor for further review. And the second is the age rating mechanism. In addition to the existing parental control and family allocation to strengthen the control of age verification and account settings, not only TikTok but also all social media platforms should pay enough attention to the safety of underage users to prevent similar incidents from happening again. Yes, in the era of freedom of speech, social media are not only private communication tools but also extremely communicative platform. So if someone do not use its impact in the right way, the damage is hard to estimate. So not only social media, but also parents, schools, and the whole society should help to protect kids from excessive and mixed information. So concertship rigor and the free expression of users is dynamic balancing process that requires constant evaluation and adjustment of strategies to meet challenging social environments and technological challenges. We do not want such an accident to happen again, and the current decision cannot bring back Nila's life, but we do hope it can bring some comfort to her family. We will continue to follow this story. More details can be found on the BTW Media website. That's all for today's video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.